The Paradise Papers uh, was a huge story from this week, and it's it's a detailed expose on multinational companies and uh, elite one percenters dodging taxes with complex schemes. Uh, well, corporate media, of course, largely ignored this, and um, Fox News did a grand total of less than one minute of coverage. Let's see what they had to say. This is a big topic, but I want to get it on. The Paradise Papers, what do they tell us and what's important? They tell us that there's no secrecy or privacy in the world anymore, even when you're very rich and you pay a lot of money for secrecy and privacy. We also need to know that there is no crime in putting your funds in an offshore account as long as you report the income on those funds to the IRS. <laughs> that's almost beyond parody. Like, that's like comedians wrote it. What is what do the Paradise Papers show? Pfft, shows there's no privacy anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. When literally the government jacked everybody's privacy with the Patriot Act, um, and it, you know mass surveillance, no warrants, collecting meta metadata on everybody, building a giant multi-billion-dollar facility in Utah to store everybody's information. When that happened, most of the hosts on Fox News were like, "Yeah, we're we're in favor of that. We want." We don't want anybody to have privacy rights and protection from unreasonable search and seizure. We, police state. We're in favor of police state. But now when it comes to exposing how corporations and rich people are dodging all of their taxes. Like, a pri where's the privacy? I don't know. Where's the privacy anymore? Let's spy on middle class and poor people. But I, I mean, obviously rich people, did, they shouldn't be spied on and they should be allowed to pay no taxes. But where's the privacy? Oh, they're so sick, man. And then there's the, you know, the, but it's not illegal. It's not illegal. That, that argument. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> like, that's the whole scandal. The scandal is, oh my goodness. They get to take millions, uh, not millions, excuse me, billions and billions and billions of dollars, put it in the fucking Cayman Islands and go, well, we're good. We don't have to pay anything on that. And then we could hold the government uh, ransom. And say, oh, you want us to invest more in America and bring some of the money back here? Well, you need to take our tax rate and drop it to like 5%. That's the fucking scandal, Judge Napolitano. That's the goddamn scandal. Is that it is legal. Because the rich, uh, you know, billionaires and multinational corporations bought the government. And so they rig policy in their favor. If your name is Jeff and you make $80,000 a year, or that's actually not bad. That's upper middle class. If you make like $40,000 a year, $30,000 a year, and you try to hide your money in the Cayman Islands, watch how quickly they knock on your door, bitch. <laughs> oh, you're going to jail if you do that, if a regular person does that. But if a billionaire does it, if multinational corporations do, oh, no, they hire a giant team of lawyers to find every legal loophole and exploit the shit out of it. And then they shift the tax burden onto you. They shift the tax burden onto regular people. So, yeah, that's the scandal. Did you know tax dodging is an over $20 trillion industry worldwide? $20 trillion? I can't even conceive of that much money. Uh, what? Over $20 trillion. There's one address in the Cayman Islands that has over 18,000 um, companies registered there, as if that's their address. That's not, it's not like they're actually headquartered there. They're dodging their fucking taxes. You can't do that. They can do that. You can't do that. They can do that. And it's legal. And that's the fucking scandal, judge. Is that billionaires, elites, corporations rig the system in their favor and screw over regular people. Fox News looking out for the little guy by fucking them in every possible way.